saying uh, this is just at 858. So right now, part of the line with the tornado warning is the only one uh, with the orientation that would present the potential to form a tornado. They said they will likely continue to issue, issue warnings along this line until it shifts out of that orientation that we're dealing with there. So also, like we've been talking about, backside tornadoes are really hard to see and they can be rain wrapped. So that's why we're saying everyone needs to be uh, within your home. Let's take a look at uh, Max 1 to show you. This thing is definitely rain wrapped. Uh, we've got a lot of heavy rain falling in these locations. So uh, if you're in Mercer County, most of Mercer County is dealing with some heavy rainfall rates. Um, and again, as they just mentioned, they are continuing this warning through 915. They've cut off the western half of it. So now it does include uh, northern Boyle County, uh, extreme southern Garrett County, also included within this Jessamine, and most of Mercer County uh, is included within this warning. So there's an updated look at that red polygon that we've been talking about here. Uh, it does not include Nicholasville, but it is uh, does include the Wilmore area westward in Jessamine County. And where you could get uh, some rotations now moving into downtown Harrisburg is where uh, we could see some of that rotation. So you're likely seeing heavy rain, a lot of lightning that's starting to fire up into this location as well. Uh, so it, again, it's a tornado that you won't be able to see, likely, likely covered in rain, hail as well, and it's going to spit a tornado out. Tornado is going to head back up into the storm, and you're still going to be seeing the impacts uh, down line. So the latest radar scan does bring the heaviest of the rain right through Harrodsburg. So if we were to deal uh, with a tornado right now, it would be near the Harrodsburg area. You get any other update from the National Weather Service there, Jordan? Um, I don't. I don't. I haven't heard you say this before. If you have, um, excuse me, but it is now moving at sixty mile an hour. 60. So, so yeah, it, it makes sense. We've been up. talking about that. Yeah, moving way faster uh, than what uh, the original warnings had suggested. That yep. is something uh, that also why because it's moving so fastly, uh, so fast. What the type of system system that we're dealing with right now? We're getting differing winds with height. So as the surface of this uh, thing is racing eastward. 60 miles per hour, that's what's causing that wind shear uh, that's initially dropping out a tornado if it were to form uh, into these locations. So the fact that it's moving so fast is of no surprise uh, with the kind of uh, setup that we are dealing with uh, for your day today. We have a large line of storms, even if you're not included in a warning right now, this is the area of the line that we are watching. So if you're up and down the I-75 corridor, not great time to go out for a drive if you're driving from Lexington up to northern Kentucky. You're dealing with some heavy rain, frequent lightning moving through those areas as well. Nicholasville southward, Richmond southward along I-75, also dealing with uh, that heavy rain as it moves eastward. And the southern side of this, you're dealing with gusty winds. That's why we have those uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. And now that it is 9 o'clock, I will say... If you're expecting a good day, Kentucky, well, we're going to stay with you through this tornado warning, and then we'll get to your, to your news here on, uh, on Good Day, Kentucky. So we're going to stay with you now, especially uh, now that we're in our own show here from 9 to 10 on Good Day, Kentucky. Uh, again, where, the, where this system would produce a tornado is almost right over top of where Harrodsburg is. And uh, if we can pull up Max 2 on the wall here quickly and show you where we're kind of seeing uh, that rotation, Jordan, if you want to take a look at where uh, we could potentially, near the Harrodsburg area, see that rotation that could produce a tornado. Yeah, so you can see it's really, really just moving into the southern, probably southern city limits there of Harrison County. So you can see right here where I am making this C. Right there is yep. the most defined, where, right where my fist is at. So if this is just west of Highway 68 here, just north of Dixville, and again, getting ready to move into the Harrodsburg area. So if you live in Harris, Har Harrodsburg, southern part, western part of Mercer County, please be in your storm shelter at this time as this possible, again, nothing confirmed, possible tornado begins to move into your area. Pull in a little bit closer. This is along US 27, US 68. This is Greensbrier Drive. So right into the city limits of Harrisburg and then down U.S. Highway 12, 127 as well that runs yeah. through Mercer County. And just that south of 152. So um, if you're headed, say, uh, from Harrodsburg to the Bergen area along 152, that's where we could be uh, dealing with that tornado. You correct, Jordan? I mean, not yeah. wrong in saying that there. Yeah. That's where we could potentially uh, see that rotation. Now take you back to Max 1 where you could see uh, why – we are talking about rain wrap with this because there's a lot of heavy rain uh, with this system. And let's kind of time this out. So we've got the updated time that is moving east at 60 miles per hour. So that would put it 
um, in these following locations. 60 miles per hour, let's get a storm track for you on this. 60 miles per hour, let's try to draw it for you. Off towards the east at 60 miles per hour. Let's take it 30 miles eastward. Uh, so here are areas that could be impacted by this down the line. So 904 for the Danville area, 915 for Nicholasville, Union Mills, 920, Spears, 923, and then Richmond now included within the same, you're not included within the tornado warning, but the same storm will likely be impacting you at around 930. Again, it's moving very quickly off towards the east at 60 miles uh, per hour now. Any updates uh, from a lot of wind gust reports, uh, damaging wind gust reports into central Kentucky uh, and Marion County and Washington County from the same storm. Um, so that is something that the National Weather Service has taken into account uh, in the potential of issuing warnings. Correct, Jordan? Yeah, exactly. And even though us here in Fayette County down to Madison County, you're not under any type of warning yet. Be prepared over the next 30, 45 minutes as this line begins to move in. If not a tornado warning, possibly even a severe thunderstorm warning with these heavy rains moving as well. Yeah, and this warning's only through 915, and where we could potentially deal with a tornado is kind of smack dab right in the middle of it. So we still have around 10 minutes left on this warning, and it's likely going to outpace that. So though you're not included within this in the Nicholasville area, southern Fayette County, um, as you head towards the Richmond area, um, you're going to want to be into a safe location for sure, um, even if we don't see this tornado warning extended further eastward because you're still going to deal with the threat of damaging wind gusts, potential for some hail as well. We've seen hail reports in the Georgetown area, Scott County, also near Cynthiana uh, as well from earlier this morning. So these storms are capable of producing hail. You don't want to be caught out in that anyways, uh, and then not even to factor in that you could be potentially dealing with a tornado. Haven't heard any dings. That's those dings that you may hear in the background, that's messages from the National Weather Service office in Louisville providing updates on this storm. Again, rotations really, even if you look at velocities right now, which will just stay on radar, they don't look super impressive. Jordan's going to take a look on our MAX-2 right now. Jordan, I don't see anything. Uh, do you see anything on MAX-2 that would potentially suggest that they might extend this? So, again, it's not looking very favorable that it's going to spin out one of these tornadoes right now, but we're going to stay with you at least through 915 that this warning uh, has been issued. So if yeah. you are tuned in, um, this warning includes Boyle County, Garrett County, also, Jessamine County and Mercer County included within this warning. Yeah, exactly, Dylan. And we are, again, looking at the rotation. Like you said, it has weakened quite a bit over the last several scans here. And But still, we, you know, we don't want to let our guard down as this thing, you know, it can weaken and really pulse back up anytime. So we're still on guard for that. So keep that in mind here, especially, you know, Mercer County. And then as this thing continues to move off towards the east, you know, if you're not under a warning right now to the east of this line, don't be surprised if you get under some type of warning over the next little bit as this line, you know, really is working to a favorable area, Dylan, that it, you know, it may not pr produce widespread tornado warnings, but it still is moving into an unstable part of the state that has not been worked over this morning and could, you know, intensify in a matter of, you know, just a few minutes within this line moving into this area. So that's something yeah. that we'll continue to watch as we begin to see yeah. this thing push off to the I-75 yeah, corridor. It is uh, pushing off towards the I-75 corridor, exactly. These are areas that haven't dealt with any rain uh, so far today either. So that just goes into uh, to effect in terms of what we're talking about, unstable atmosphere. We're dealing with very warm temperatures, high dew points for this time of the year. Again, this is January we're talking about uh, with this tornado warning here. So not a favorable, uh, not a traditional time that we would be dealing with these type of systems. But given that we're seeing 60 degree temperatures, dew points in the 50s and low 60s as well, uh, and, of course, all that wind shear that we've been talking about, that's where we are dealing with this threat. So let me uh, pull, pull up Max 2 on, uh, on the wall quickly, and then I'll have Jordan show you where our severe thunderstorm watch is on Max 1, and we'll pull that up in just a second. But I want to show you here uh, on Max HD radar where we're dealing with some of that rotation. Jordan, if you want to take a look uh, on, radar, on Max 2 here on the wall and show where we're seeing uh, some of that very disorganized rotation, if any rotation at all. Yeah, this thing has really, really weakened here. Um, Harrodsburg down just south of that warning in Danville. If we're, it's very, very weak at the moment. If we're going to see 
any type of spin-up come from this. It is going to be now just east of Harrodsburg here, so towards the eastern side of Mercer County, getting ready to push into Garrett County there, just north of Bryansville. But again, at the moment, there is very little rotation with this storm. This warning still continues through 915, but Dylan, unless we just get some um, intensification here over the next few minutes, would not be surprised if they canceled the tornado warning, at least for the time being, for this area. Yeah, and it looks like they're going to issue a severe thunderstorm warning downstream of this, so that would suggest they would potentially um, not extend the tornado warning. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch that is in place for a large portion of central Kentucky as well. If we could take a look at Max 1, and I'll show you where we are dealing with uh, that severe thunderstorm watch. It was issued for central Kentucky earlier this morning. Now it has been extended uh, eastward. So it now includes Lexington. It includes Bourbon County. It includes Harrison County as well. This is through 1 o'clock this afternoon. If you're in this severe thunderstorm morning, you're going to be dealing with strong to severe thunderstorms capable of producing the damage and wind gusts that we've been talking about, also uh, the threat of hail. And I will say that these storms have uh, been producing very damaging wind gusts into western Kentucky. We've had reports of damages to schools in Breckenridge County, uh, dealing with that as well, and also uh, in areas west of Harrodsburg, some trees down uh, currently as well from the same system. So taking a look at Max HG radar now, uh, where we are uh, seeing the strongest of the storms. So, yes, we're talking about the severe thunderstorm warning extended outside of the tornado warning. That's exactly what you're seeing here. That does include Madison County. So, though we have no official update from the National Weather Service, that would suggest when 915 hits, they're going to just ride with this severe thunderstorm warning, let the tornado warning go. But if you're in areas like Nicholasville, Fayette County, um, near western Clark County, most of uh, Madison County there near Richmond as well, May not be issued a tornado warning, but as we've been saying, this storm could easily uh, reproduce one uh, that could uh, potentially cause uh, some damage near you. So get into your safe location. It's not a great time to drive. We gave you the time frame of between 8 o'clock this morning and 10 o'clock for the I-75 corridor, and that's exactly uh, the time frame that we're seeing here this morning. Where you'd see any rotation at all is kind of right there. I mean, again, it's not looking super impressive on radar. But as it moves eastward, especially this area that's kind of extending a little bit further east than the rest of the southern line, that is where we could potentially spin up a tornado. Uh, Jordan, we just got a little ding. Is that any it's update from the It's just that they National were Service? expiring the Boyle, Marion, Mercer, and Washington severe thunderstorm warning. Okay, so the, the severe thunderstorm warning towards the west is uh, something that is getting expired. Correct, Jordan? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. And then this warning here that is for Fayette, Southern Fayette, and Madison County, it runs through 945. So this still roughly... 33 minutes here. Again, it's not a tornado warning. It's a severe thunderstorm warning. But the National Weather Service saying that they're seeing some winds upwards of 60 to even 70 mile an hour now with this system as with some potential hail as well. And they're still keeping that possible tornado yeah. tag on. And they're going to keep that uh, yeah. if, as it heads further down the line. So your, your areas that aren't seeing anything right now, uh, towards Irvin, Stanton, Mount Sterling, Winchester, you have nothing going on right now. You know, warnings issued for you. Uh, even a severe thunderstorm watch into eastern Kentucky. But this system has been capable of quickly spinning up a tornado, going back to uh, normal severe thunderstorm conditions, and then reproducing uh, the potential for some rotation that we will be dealing with a tornado. So we're closing in on two minutes left on this tornado warning. Still no update from the National Weather Service. They've not said that they're going to extend it. They likely won't extend it. Uh, so that is some good news there. Uh, Jordan, can you zoom in on Max AC radar? We get we did they, get an update. They are um, considering a downstream tornado warning for Boyle, Garrett, Jessman, and into Madison County. Okay, well then can you zoom in on where uh, that rotation that we were tracking earlier near the Harrodsburg area yeah. uh, as you zoom in a little closer there on uh, Max 2? Again, it, it doesn't look super impressive, and that's on the I'll come help you out, Jordan, uh, switching the radars. Again, Jordan, been great. Just started with us. Um, so thank you for your help uh, this morning um, when helping us out here. But I don't really see any rotation as we're looking at the Louisville radar, maybe the Jackson. Um, again, it kind of switches because Louisville's west of this system, Jackson's east of the system. So the tours, in a way, switched on mm-hmm. us. Uh, but still, regardless of what radar we're looking at, not seeing uh, really any good signs of rotation. Maybe they're just... Uh, on the border between, say, um, Mercer County and 
Jessamine County, Jordan, would you say that that would be an area we could potentially see some rotation there? Yeah, I, I'm assuming that is the part that the National Weather Service in Louisville there is looking at. They may just be, you know, kind of maybe want to keep this thing going just because it has the. And there, and there it they is. Just, they just reissued there it. There it is. Okay. Jordan, if you want to step off and we'll pull yep. up Max 1 onto uh, the green wall here for you, the green screen, so we can show you what we're talking about here. Tornado warning just issued. Radar indicated tornado warning for Boyle, Clark, Fayette, Garrett, Jessamine, Madison, Mercer, and Woodford counties. Uh, through 945 at 913, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Danville, moving east at 55 miles per hour. So now it's the southern edge that they're watching here with this um, near the Brantsville area uh, where we could potentially see uh, some rotation with this. So it is for Fayette County, but it's far southern uh, Fayette County. So this is the area. You may even see it yourself uh, where you can kind of see that little notch in the radar right there. That is where we could potentially uh, see a tornado quickly spin up here and as it moves further towards the east. So this now includes the I-75 corridor. This now includes most of Jessamine County, uh, and this does include Madison County as well. And uh, this is moving off towards the east. Is it still 60 miles per hour? Is that what the storm's moving at, Jordan? It's down to 55, 55 but, but still yeah, fast. It's 55, 60 miles per hour, regardless of how fast it is moving. And I will say it's not as much showing this northerly trajectory anymore, more of a straight easterly uh, beeline here uh, within this line as it continues to move eastward. This is where we would see any rotation at all. I mean, is that what you're seeing on velocities, Jordan? Yeah. Where I'm pointing out here, uh, where we're seeing, again, this is muddy um, in terms of what we're looking at on radar. It's not a clear indication of rotation. But that's kind of what is actually happening out there. The storm is covered in rain, hail potentially as well, very gusty winds, and uh, that is what we're watching, and that's why this has that threat uh, potentially to quickly drop out a tornado. Why it's so dangerous? Because you could just be driving along. You could be driving up and down I-75 here between Fayette County and Richmond, and uh, this storm's moving through you. You may just be seeing rain, and then boom, quick short-lived tornado right as it's crossing I-75, and that is where we could potentially uh, deal with the issue. So let's pull up MAX-2 right now to talk about some tornado safety, some shelters that would be good for you to be in these locations, Jordan. Yeah, since this is getting ready to move into the Richmond area, we know we just want to give you some tornado safety with this as um, if we can just hang on one moment. Bear yeah, with us here go. as... Dylan, there we thank go. you. Yes, you're welcome there. We've and had then, some clicker issues this morning, <laughs> uh, so have. that's something we have to resolve as well. So here's a look at tornado safety. Avoid windows and doors and outside walls. If you want to be in the hallway or if you're under a staircase, uh, you know, a closet, anywhere, it's interior part of your house. You know, you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as you possibly can. Again, this is, you know, really for moving into Richmond. So if you're in the Richmond area, you know, we know schools are in session right now. It is the middle of, you know, the morning when schools are back in session. I'm sure they are starting their tornado, you know, precautions here into the, especially Richmond area as far as Garrett County as well. As this storm begins to move off towards, you know, it's still, it's starting, like Dylan said, it's starting to take more of a west to east trajectory instead of a northeast trajectory. So that could potentially help us out here a little bit down the road as far as the direction of this. But again, just tornado safety. Remember to recover yourself when you go to the interior part of the room with as many um, you know, covers, blankets. If you have a mattress, you can easily take off the bed. That's a good idea to do that as you were getting into the most interior part of your house as well as Dylan gets ready to pull up here. Um, velocity yeah, closer to Richmond. Yeah, closer to Richmond. We're still not really seeing anything super impressive. There's a little bit of a um, notch there near the Bryantsville area. If we can pull up. Yeah, there we go. Max one. Um, again, it doesn't look super impressive to me, but that, that's where we could see a notch at. It's right there. It's kind of on the Tri-County. you got Jessamine County right there. Uh, you've got uh, the Lancaster area there as well, just to the east of Danville. So that's what it said at 913, which was five minutes ago. Uh, that's where we were seeing the rotation. Also, you're seeing those brighter yellows. That shows those are where the gustiest of the winds are at. Uh, so you've got some very gusty winds coming out of this storm, uh, moving towards the east. You also have this rotation that could... Uh, that, e that westerly, excuse me, easterly wind that's coming around uh, from the eastern side of this thing. And as this thing moves eastward, you could be potentially dealing with a, a, tornadic, a tornadic cell developing in that location. 
and moving off towards the east. Again, it's through 945, moving east at 55, 60 miles per hour. Depends on the update there. Uh, but, um, Jordan, do you have another look at Max 1 here? We'll take a look at Max 1, I believe, or Max 2, sorry. We'll take a look at Max 2 on uh, the green screen here and show where we're dealing with that in terms of where you can see the rain showing up yeah. on radar while we're saying it's rain wrapped if it is potentially. So that is where all of these bright red, yellow, and orange colors are moving here just to the south of Nicholasville, moving um, into the Lancaster area. And again, if we have um, any part, bit of rotation, it is right in here, the corner, kind of the corner of Garrett and um, Jessman and not quite into Madison County yet, but you need to go ahead and be in your storm shelter again at the moment. This is running right along US 27 in between Nicholasville and Lancaster. So if you live in these areas in northern to northwestern parts of Garrett County, south, south southern parts of Jasmine County, you need to be in your storm shelter at this moment as this is currently where we are seeing the most um, signs of rotation. And step off screen here and to give you just the timing of this, the tornado warning that is for Gary, Jessman, Madison, and Mercer. That continues for another 25 minutes here. So until 945 and then to the storm north of that is a severe thunderstorm warning. And that is for Boyle, Jessman, Madison, and Mercer. And that runs until 945. So we still got several minutes here, Dylan, before we can yep. even talk about cancelization. Do you have any updates from the National Weather Service? No updates from the National Weather Service. Let's take a look at Max 1, though. I want to say I've taken a look at uh, some other ways we can see the radar, and I want to say when we look at it a little bit finer detail, again, Max 1, if we could pull that up quickly on the wall uh, so I can show you where we're seeing the potential for, uh, again, uh, a tornado potentially spinning up there. Uh, mm -hmm. We did get one update um, from the Department of Transportation in Anderson County. Uh, trees bending over, not yet snapping. So that was from the earlier system that we were talking about. Uh, but when I looked at this in a more of a HD um, mode here, from Wilmore to Lancaster there, this little area did show signs of rotation. When I was looking at it uh, more of a, an HD perspective here, that is where we could potentially see that rotation that could uh, result in a tornado. So if we want to zoom in, Jordan, you zoom in on where we're dealing with that um, so we can give you some names of some roads that were downstream of this. So again, it's east of Bryantsville, the Million area, the Ruthton area. Again, these are some small little areas uh, here uh, that could potentially be seeing uh, that threat for that rotation and a potential tornado there into those locations. Jordan, are you seeing anything that you're really uh, what, what comes out to you, I will say that that looks like a pretty impressive notch right there. Yeah. Uh, doesn't it? Right it there. Does. That is uh, starting to, um, looks like it's tightening in terms of when we're talking about the rotating winds with height here, it's tightening up on radar where you could see uh, that threat of a potential for a tornado. We're kind of right in between three counties. We've got Jessamine County towards the south here. Uh, we also have, excuse me, Jessamine County to the north, Gary County to the south. And also towards the east is, east is Madison County. So you're right in between all those Kentucky River flowing through there as well. Jordan, are you seeing anything else on Max HD? Um, our velocity is starting to show that tightening as well here just to the northeast of Bronzeville. So that is, you know, the area that you've been talking about for the last couple of minutes. If anything, it is running, you know, the kind of the corner there of southern Jessamine County into northern Garrett County running right along U.S. 27 and U.S. 39 where they meet there again southern Jessamine County and moving into Garrett not quite into Madison County yet but it will be very soon so um, Dylan's going to check a couple of things over there in the weather center just kind of get you up to date here right here where this storm is curving back you see how this is starting to take on a classic look of that rotation. We don't even have to look at velocity. We can see this on radar, and we can see that it is showing some well-defined rotation, and that is exactly what we are seeing. So uh, props to the National Weather Service there in Louisville for going ahead and issuing this downstream um, for continuing this warning. So, again, this is southern Jessamine County into Garrett County and eventually moving over here to Madison County. In Madison County, you are not seeing except extreme western county of madison county you're seeing some rain beginning to move in but as far as the area of rotation it is still back here in southern jessamine county and northern garrett county right here right along the jessamine garrett county line 
Something else, like we so, uh, said just a little bit ago, the lightning, starting to see an uptick in that as well. And I'm seeing off screen the velocity there. And yeah, it is definitely um, beginning to tighten up there. So yeah, let me um, uh, put a little track on here mm-hmm. so we could time this out for you as it moves eastward. Again, it's moving eastward very quickly. So let's take it to the extension of the warning there. It's moving in north. See the exact direction from the National Weather Service. It's moving off. Uh, towards the northeast, so there we go, and uh, it will take you to these areas at these times. So Buckeye, 925, the Million Area, 933, Richmond, 937, the Red House area there in northern Madison County at 940. And, and that's what you would suggest there as well, Jordan, in terms of the track that we're seeing this thing take. Yeah, exactly, and uh, if you'll just look over to your left there, Dylan, the latest velocity is tightening up um, just a little bit again. Yes. So, so if you want to pull up max two quickly for us on the wall we can show you what we're talking about and in terms of where that rotation is tightening up yeah exactly right here just beginning to push into madison county so along the jessman garrett and madison county corner here this area right here is really beginning to strengthen up so if we were to see a tornado right here is where it is going to be at again nothing is confirmed not saying that we are seeing one it's just the rotation is you know, the last few scans of the radar is really beginning to tighten up here. Again, the corner of Jessman, Mercer, uh, Jessman, Garrett, and Madison County, rather. Dylan? I'm trying to find a more HD view for you all so you guys can get a better look at it, but um, kind of limited here. But, yes, as he's saying, we're also in between radar sites, which is also yeah. causing this thing to not look super impressive. We have a radar site in Louisville and a radar site in Jackson, Kentucky. So as you uh, look uh, between those two radars, it's making a little challenging. So I'm going to flip this over to Jackson's. Uh, So, again, the winds completely shift because Jackson's now on the east side of this system. Mm -hmm. But that same area we're talking about, right, Jordan, where we are seeing that rotation? Yep. Correct? You can still see it with that one as well. And and we are. Again, we're in the ABC 36 Storm Team Weather Center. We've been here for around an hour, just shy of an hour as well. So, Jordan, take a look at what we're dealing with in terms of velocities. Just got an update from the National Weather Service. I'm going to check that out. Uh, But Jordan will show you where we're seeing the rotation. Yeah, so even when we switch to Jackson here, it is starting to show some increase of uh, rotation here as well. Again, this is really northern Garrett County. Right now is where its centered rotation right now is northern Garrett County. So if you live in northern Garrett County on the southern fringe of um, Madison County and Jessman counties, you need to be in your storm shelter at this very moment. Do not wait. You need to go there at this very time. As again, we're starting to see some um, tightening of this rotation. I'm going to send it back over to Dylan as he's checking the National yeah. Weather Service. We are track. getting some updates from the National Weather Service. I just want to show you on Max 1, if I could, here shortly. We just got a new severe thunderstorm wish- warning issued on the northern side of this thing and also a new tornado warning. Uh, that's just to the north of our viewing area. So this is outside of our viewing area, but it is for Grant County uh, through 930. So again, that is north of uh, our viewing area. I just wanted to give you an update on that. And also we have this severe thunderstorm warning that is for Bourbon, Harrison, Nicholas, and Scott counties. That is through 10 a.m. That yellow box there, you can see that includes Cynthiana, Paris, Georgetown, also included within that. And we could potentially see some rotation there as well, right, Jordan? I mean, that is where we could potentially see some rotation near the Georgetown area. So even though this is a severe thunderstorm morning, as we've been seeing all morning long, it's going to, it would be the potential of dropping a quick tornado, pulling it back up into the storm, still dealing with some very gusty winds, and then a couple of miles down the road, dealing with another threat of a tornado. Jordan, if you want to push the radar down just a little further south, we just had a, uh, excuse me, a severe thunderstorm warning issued for Lexington area, or at least just north of Lexington. Uh, Lexington's kind of right smack dab in between the two areas we're watching here. So let me take off our little wording here um, so you can, so we can show you the two areas that we're watching uh, for the potential of producing uh, a tornado. So we got the northern cell that's near the Georgetown area. That has a severe thunderstorm tag to it uh, through 10 a.m. That's likely some very heavy rainfall, likely some hail there. So that would potentially cause some rotation. We're hearing some heavy rain falling here at the station. This notch as well is what we're watching that has that tornado warning uh, that has already been issued for it. And it is, has it not been extended yet? Mm -hmm. Uh, It has not. So we have both the severe thunderstorm warning and the tornado warning kind of on top of each other. 
Getting any updates? We do have some updates out of Harrisburg. So they're getting multiple reports. This is the national um, the emergency management there in Harrisburg saying they have multiple reports of damage. Roads even shut down because a um, potential roof blown off of a house and some trees and power lines that are down just south of Harrisburg. So that is exactly the area that we were looking at. I'm sure they may send somebody out to see if that was just straight line winds, if it produced a you know weak tornado, but... That's just confirmation that we're starting to yeah. see some damage reports, even here at Closer to Home. Absolutely. Yeah, that is the first time we've seen those damage reports. And again, when they go out and survey this thing yeah. tomorrow or later on today, you could see multiple tornadoes forming along the same path. So it's not one long-lived tornado. This is dropping a tornado, potentially becoming just straight a very heavy rainfall, gusty winds and then dropping another tornado down the line. So that's why we've been continuing to see that pulse up rotation, weak rotation, then it'll pulse back up. I will say this is starting to look a little impressive up towards the Georgetown area. It's not uh, as quite as a, a good of a signature that we're seeing there um, just south of town. And uh, there's, they just put out, the Storm Prediction Center just put out a mesoscale discussion saying that the watch downstream will likely be a tornado watch. It will likely be a tornado watch. So let me uh, we'll keep you on, Max one right now jordan will show you that um max one quickly and i'll show you what they're talking about in terms of that severe thunderstorm watch that we're seeing um there so so this this notch here just back to the west southwest of richmond that is our main area of concern at the moment the rotation is you know you can you can see, you can see it. We don't even have to pull velocity. We can see that, you know, kind of backwards, upside down. See that hook there that is um, still showing up there. So likely a good amount of rotation. This is the same storm that moved through Harrodsburg there in Mercer County, and that we are seeing reports of some significant damage. So this storm, even if it's not producing a tornado, it's still producing some straight line winds of axis of 60 to 70 mile an hour. So again, you want to be in the most interior part of your house at the very moment. If you live in northern um, Madison County here yes. along the I-75 corridor. Don't wait. Go right now, okay? Listen to me. We're not we're not trying to scare you or anything. We have no official confirm, but just our um, weather knowledge here, we can we can kind of look at the radar. We're seeing the reports of damage, and there is a good indication that this thing could yeah. drop a tornado at any moment. And it's really looking impressive as we get. Let me try to. I'm, I'm going to do this on Max One here. So right behind you there, Jordan. We're going to have to move where this is located, but it's looking more impressive as it approaches the Richmond area. Uh, on radar so that is where we could potentially see this a tornado and yeah it really looks impressive there now doesn't jordan if you want to show exactly what we're talking about i'm just trying to get some updates there again this is western madison county west of richmond is where we could potentially near the ruthton area be dealing with a tornado yeah so from ruthton up to million this is getting ready to move over the i-75 corridor folks if you live in northern madison county you need to be in your storm shelter immediately. Now is not the time to wait. Now is not the time to joke around. You need to go at this very moment because this is, again, nothing is confirmed at the moment, but there is strong indication that this thing, if it's not already producing um, a wheat tornado, it could per, you drop one and produce one at any moment here. Some of the roads here, um, Highway 874 up here closer to, you know, Highway 595 that runs straight into Richmond. And we, you know, we're on the northern edge of this here um, in the east side of Lexington. We can hear the rain. We can hear the thunder on top of the station here as well. So even if you're not getting, you know, a tornadic part with this system, you're seeing some extremely intense rainfall. So if you're caught out, you know, driving in these conditions, not a good idea. You might want to pull over. Yeah, um, before. and we just had a 55 mile per hour wind gust reported over at the airport here in Lexington. Um, a report out of Georgetown of a gust of 40 miles per hour, heavy rain starting there. So that's the northern side of the state. Uh, but again, we're continuing to focus on this southern mm -hmm. storm into Madison County because it now has confirmed damage reports, yep. not a confirmed tornado, yep. but we now have National Weather Service saying they're sending a team down to survey the okay. Harrodsburg area okay. because we have had uh, damage reports, and they say multiple damage reports from the Harrodsburg area. So if you're in the Harrodsburg area and you're now no longer included within this warning, 
You can get out, take some photos, uh, report them to your local authorities if you do have any damage near you. And uh, if you're in Madison County, if you're in the Richmond area, Eastern Kentucky University uh, in Richmond, make sure that you are getting into your safe location. Uh, Again, several schools in this area as well, Uh, Jordan. Make sure that um, if you're tuned in at your local school right now, you're getting, you're putting your tornado uh, preparations into effect. Again, this is January. School just started back up last week in a lot of these areas. Uh, This is not a typical time of the year. We're usually talking snow days, but today, Kids, if you're tuned in, we're talking tornadoes and the potential uh, for some damaging uh, storms pushing through your area. So this tornado warning is through 940 this morning, and it does, right now, where we're focused on is Madison County, especially the northern two-thirds of Madison County, which does include Richmond. So where you're seeing these brighter colors here, that's where some very gusty winds are at. And where we're seeing this rotation is this whole area right here, and it's moving off towards the east-northeast, which would take it just towards Richmond, and it's getting ready uh, to move down the I-75 corridor. We just had an update here. Looks like they extended it, I believe, no, through 945 now. Uh, so they shortened the warning. They've compacted it, which makes sense because this is where we're seeing the rotation. So extreme eastern Garrett County, but now, for the most part, it is Madison County. Correct, Jordan? Yes, exactly. Mainly just focusing on the Richmond areas that is moving east at uh, 55 miles an hour, located right over Richmond Center there in yeah. Richmond. Yeah, so definitely um, get into your safe location. Let's see if we can get a better look here of the radar. Sorry, folks, to be stepping off the screen, but I want to show you what uh, we're talking about here. Again, we're having to flip views, so bear with us just one moment, and we will get you back to looking at the storm. And again, we're talking Madison County at the moment there. If you're in Madison County, make sure you are in your safe location if you can do so. I'm going to try to give us more of an HD look here on radar. So I'm going to quickly do that. Uh, Jordan, if you want to show where the severe thunderstorm watch is, we'll pull up Max 2 and what you're talking about, them likely extending it for Southern Kentucky. So if we can pull up Max 2 quickly. Yeah. And um, also just seen a report of some hail there in Georgetown as well. So the severe thunderstorm warning that is moving through Scott County is producing some hail as well. Currently, this is where the current severe thunderstorm watch runs. You know, it it ends at Madison County, and that warning will soon be pushing off to the east into, you know, this line will be pushing into our southern and eastern counties. So that's why they're saying a 80% chance of that watch that is getting extended, whether that's a severe thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch, we will have to wait and see exactly um, what that is when it comes. Just know that probably any minute now they are going to extend a watch further south and east because that line is starting to outrun this current watch. This current watch runs through 1 p.m. I don't know if it'll see that extension because the line is already moving through. Nonetheless, it goes through 1 p.m. here from um, Paris down to Lexington, down to Madison County, and then you get to Rockcastle and it um, it, it expires. At the, I mean, it does not in effect for areas Rock Castle south, south and east of there. All but right. yeah, if you want to step ahead. off Jordan quickly, okay. and we'll pull up Max One, and I want to show you up. Try to give you a better, more HD look at where we could potentially be seeing uh, this thing um, producing a tornado. Again, it is right over top of Richmond almost. Right here is where we're watching. Right down the I-75 corridor uh, is where we could potentially uh, see some of that. Jordan, if you could get on Max 2 and pull up our Richmond camera, and uh, we'll try to see, we'll try to get a look at what we're dealing with here. First, I want to say, when we pull up our Richmond camera, you're just going to see rain. You're not going to see a funnel cloud uh, with the system because it's likely rain-wrapped. And where the tornado is, is likely just behind the heaviest wall of the rain. So, don't go out try to look at this thing. Get into your most interior room within your house, as we've been mentioning, uh, your home, your business. A lot of kids at school right now, Eastern Kentucky University students are at back in class. So this is uh, what we're talking about here in terms of getting to your safe location, whether that's designated as your basement, uh, your interior closet, underneath some steps in your home, in your bathroom. Bathroom's a great place to be. Get into the bathtub, cover yourself up with the blankets and pillows. Uh, That is a a great location uh, to be here. Jordan, I'll pull that up. If you can get on radar and show where we're seeing the potential for a tornado, I I will try to pull up our Richmond camera here. 
Yeah, so currently right now this is moving right over the city of Richmond. It is right on top of 75. If you are, if you have us on the live stream, if uh, we may be you know, streaming on some of our radio partners as well, if you're listening to us on the radio, and you are driving in Madison County, um, anywhere along 75, you need to pull over at the moment. You do not want to be out driving in this. Not even for the tornado, the strong wind aspect of this, but it's because it is producing some very intense rainfall, so some dangerous drop travel conditions here. But this rotation that we are seeing, you can still see it very um, evident here, just to the west of Richmond. That is moving into the city of Richmond right now. As we speak, the rotation is you know, still showing up. And as Dylan mentioned a few minutes ago, they have trimmed the back edge of this warning to now be um, Garrett and Madison County. So it's no longer in effect for folks there in Jessamine County. So if you're watching in Jessamine County, you know, we've been talking about you for the last 30 minutes. We, we have the all clear for you in Jessamine County. That does not go for, and pretty much Garrett County as well. They're keeping Garrett County in the warning at the moment, but the, but this current storm has pushed off to the east. So Garrett County, go ahead and sound the all clear for you. Right now, our focus is Madison County, especially the Richmond area from Southern Fayette County down to um, Richmond, just south of Richmond. Dylan has yeah, if you can pull up Max beginning to pull 2, up yeah, you can see the rain. I mean, if you want to pull up Max 2 right now, because we're seeing the wall of rain pushing through Richmond yeah, uh, well, current at the moment here. If you uh, step off just quickly, Jordan, so we can switch that camera over uh, to uh, camera 3 here so we could get a look at that on the wall of a Max 2, and you can see the heavy, heavy downpour. So we're going to stay with you because this just moved in uh, to Richmond. So if we can see any indication that we're dealing with uh, any type of damage taking place or it may knock our camera out. Very gusty wind. So this is the type of storm you're dealing with. You don't need to be outside in this. We're showing you what it looks like right now in Richmond at Eastern Kentucky University. The storm has just hit uh, Eastern uh, Kentucky University here. Again, this may not be where exactly we're seeing the rotation, but you can see some very gusty winds taking place. Uh, just a moment ago, we saw a wall of water uh, moving through this area. So I'm going to stay on this view. You'd say that's orientated to the correct direction, Jordan, where we could potentially see uh, yeah. some of that rotation. I would say that yeah, as sure. well, because you're looking uh, towards where we're talking about in terms of that intense rainfall, some very gusty winds. Notice it's kind of lightened up just, to, just in the last minute. So that mm -hmm. first little burst is where uh, we were dealing with some very gusty winds. It looks like still some lights up there as well. We're staying with this view because this is exactly where we're seeing the potential uh, for that tornado to develop is in central Madison County, near Richmond, near Eastern Kentucky University, and we're showing you that view right now. You seeing anything on radar or anything, Jordan? No updates from the National Weather Service? No updates, and the latest radar scans kind of shows that pulsing down just a little bit again, rotation not quite as strong as what we were seeing but, a few but that was ago. impressive seeing that but wall of water moving moving eastward there in madison county so let's take you back to max issue radar uh again we have the tornado warning through 945 so it's getting ready to expire there for madison county you may notice you're also seeing some white showing up there that would signify some hail uh, potential with this as well just north and west of richmond so we just saw that wall of water moving through this area uh, again if you were dealing with a tornado developing with this cell it's likely inside of where we're seeing that heaviest core of the rainfall. So you're not going to be able to see a funnel cloud with this. What you'll see is when you come out after the storm passes, damage. Like we, potential, potential tornado damage in Harrodsburg as well. So let's take you back to uh, Max 2, show you the camera shaking around due to the gusty winds. Lights are still up, so that's some good news there. Um, again, would not recommend going out and driving around in this. We see several cars on there. Again, we're approaching a lot of people heading to work. Uh, you know, close, approaching 10 o'clock, some people heading to for an early lunch. Uh, but the camera's really shaking around. You see some emergency vehicles heading out there as well. You know, stay off the roads if you are in Madison County uh, currently. Um, no updates from the National Weather Service, Jordan? Not at the moment. Um, what was the well, last update? They just, they just um, issued a tornado warning that is now extended over to Clark counties and the western, the eastern side of Madison County until 1015. Okay, so, so this pull has up been... Max 1, and we'll show you the brand new tornado uh, warning that has been issued, and it's kind of a funky looking one, but don't let that um, fool you here. We're still dealing with, yeah, the potential for a tornado to develop. So through 1015 now, so we've been with you live for what, an hour now, Jordan? Mm -hmm. uh, we have this tornado warning, the red polygons, what we're talking about here through 1015 Clark and Madison County. This is the same storm 
that we're getting damage reports from in Harrodsburg from close to 45 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, uh, from the system moving through those areas. Now we're seeing this threat move off towards the north and the east. Again, Clark County, Madison County, tornado warning through 1015 this morning. So phone may be going off. Again, it's far southern Clark County. Um, but phone may be going off. You may be getting that alert. This is a storm we're watching just to the east of Richmond. We just saw it move through Richmond on our sky view. Uh, you have an update there, Jordan? Um, I do. Damage now being confirmed in Lancaster and Garrett yep, in County. Lancaster, yeah. Garrett County damage of... Take us back to Max 2. We're seeing some very gusty winds now uh, in Richmond on our Blue Gas Pace Care sky view there. So, yeah, look at that. I mean, this is live, folks. This is not a replay of what we're just showing you. That's that back edge of the radar we're showing you where you saw the white uh, where I just showed you on radar, if you've been with us, where we could potentially see some hail. I mean, these are some very, very gusty winds. Wouldn't be surprised. This is probably going to cause some power outages with uh, the winds that we are seeing here. Again, this is the core of this system. This is looking at Eastern Kentucky University. There's the football field uh, there as well. There's the water tower to get you some perspective of where exactly we're looking. If you watch us every morning, I'll show you this exact view every single day. And uh, now we're seeing heavy rain falling, still lights on, so that's good news. No power outages right now there, uh, but you could definitely get that in outlying areas with trees, tree damage, and things like that. Yeah, and they uh, just extended a severe thunderstorm warning now that that's... goes downstream of yeah. that tornado warning. Yeah, we'll pull that up on uh, Max 1 now we'll show you what we're talking about here. So they're kind of overlapping these two uh, because it's what we're talking about. Tornado, quick spin-up tornado. Back to severe thunderstorm conditions, then potentially a couple miles down, a tornado could form uh, again. So we've trimmed this off now. This is the area we're watching, far southern Clark County there, uh, included within this tornado warning. But you can see that yellow box is now a severe thunderstorm warning uh, with the same system. Again, 60 mile per wind gusts, likely that's likely what you were just looking at on our sky view there in Richmond. Any updates, Jordan? They just extended the severe thunderstorm watch to include most of southern and yeah. eastern Kentucky. So, we'll, uh, Jordan, if you want to show where we're potentially dealing with the tornado here on Max 1, I'll pull up Max 2 where we now have the severe thunderstorm watch. Yeah, so um, right here, this warning is in effect for Madison County and also the very extreme uh, southeastern part of Clark County. This does not include the city of Winchester. So if you're in Clark County, your tornado sirens are probably going off on your phone, on your you know social media devices. You're probably getting alerts saying that Clark County is under a tornado warning. That is the case, but it is for extreme southern Clark County. Again, the city of Winchester is up here to the north. You guys are just seeing um, some general heavy rain, some strong winds, and maybe some um, small hail with this as well, but we're continuing to focus um, here in Richmond, and the last few radar scans, if anything, it's kind of, you know, starting breaking to... Apart, breaking apart, yeah. Breaking kind of apart. Probably and, shearing itself out, which yeah. is as gusty as the winds that we're seeing, and as fast as it's moving, it's uh, probably losing that notch that we've seen on radar, which would be some good news, but I want to, if you want to step off here, Jordan, we'll pull up Max 2 and show you the new severe thunderstorm watch that has just been issued downstream. Uh, so it now includes eastern Kentucky. This is through 4 o'clock this afternoon. So all the I-64 corridor within uh, the state here is included within that. Also, the entire I-75 corridor from Lexington South is included within this watch as well through 4 o'clock this afternoon. And it's mainly along this line that we've been showing you here over the last couple of minutes. And we will uh, take you back to Max 1 here shortly as we uh, we lost the National Weather Service chat, but we'll get that pulled back up. If you want to show where, where we would see any rotation at all with this. Yeah, so um, again, good news. The last, you know, several scans, this has turned into more of a um, damaging wind signature here. i um, starting to push off southeast of Richmond now. That storm has already moved through um, the city limits of Richmond. It's starting to extend down towards Berea. Maybe if Dylan, if you can um, go a little bit further south, yes. show the southern part of this near Berea. Yeah, that southern line now. And again, we'll also what is happening is we're switching National Weather Service sites. So you may see yeah. that radar uh, beam there from Jackson. We're now switching to Jackson's radar. And a lot of these counties are included within Jackson's jurisdiction, which also includes uh, Estill, Montgomery, and Powell counties, which are under that severe thunderstorm warning. 
or here, yeah, which is, uh, includes also the cities of Stanton and Irvine there as well. So, again, rotation in Madison County, not quite as impressive, but if you'll see this um, turning into more of a line, this could be more of a, you know, maybe straight line wind signature beginning to move up. Doesn't mean that it can't pulse back up, that it can't rotate and um, produce some rotation again as well. This warning still goes through 1015, so we still have... You know, a good amount and of time racing. It's, on it's, this warning. It's going ahead of where uh, the warning has been issued. So it is. I'm going to keep looking at radar there. I'm going to pull up the velocities on MAX 2 in just one second, see if we can get a better look at where we would be seeing any rotation with this thing. So right now, the, air, the, most, the biggest area of concern is um, southeastern parts of Madison County beginning to push um, into extreme southern clark county but um getting over here into Irvine, that is why they issued that extended go ahead and went that severe thunderstorm warning again doesn't mean that they're not going to continue this tornado warning doesn't mean that it can't pulse back up and provide us with some decent rotation we've seen that all morning um dylan has an update here with yeah. the update let's take a look at uh max two which we're taking a look at there there we're showing your velocities we're talking about same area jordan was just mentioning where we would see any rotation is kind of right here. Uh, uh, so that is where it's moving off towards the east. That's why far southern Clark County is included within this. Uh, we still have those severe thunderstorm warning, Estill, Montgomery, Powell counties downstream of this. Uh, but don't let, that, don't let that have your guard down. If you're in these areas, you have a severe thunderstorm warning, it's not going to take much. This storm has had a history of producing at least wind damage, could potentially be tornado damage with this so don't let your guard down the system is moving eastward getting ready to move into estill montgomery powell counties this is far southern montgomery mainly estill and powell counties is what we're watching there is some rotation that we've been tracking for you it's been brief it's been intermittent it hasn't been sustained rotation again we're we were never talking about a long duration tornado we we're talking spin up tornado you're dealing with damaging wind gusts and then another another potential of, of a tornado developing as well there. And uh, just a little update from the National Weather Service said road crews are reporting trees down on roadways associated with that storm that just moved through Franklin and Scott County. So that was just for the severe thunderstorm warning. So yeah, for you the know, northern side for of this. For the northern yeah. side of this. So even though the areas underneath tornado warning, you can still see damage with this with these line of storms that are moving through. So this is why you want to take it, you know, serious, be away from windows, even if you are just under a severe thunderstorm warning because of these strong winds. Yes, and we're getting updates here. Again, we're now talking with uh, seeing messages from two different um, two different National Weather Service offices here. So uh, that is where we could potentially see a, a tornado developing uh, there. If Jordan wants to show you there on Max 2, where we could see some rotation uh, there with this system. Here we go again. Like we said, it was starting to weaken a little bit, but it could pulse back up at any second. And that's exactly what we're seeing here to the north um, northeast side of Madison County, getting ready to push into southern Clark County. So this thing weakened for a very short period of time. And now, unfortunately, that rotation is starting to pick back up as well. As very soon, it will begin to cross over from Madison into southern Clark County and here to the north of Irvine. So if you live in southern Clark County, it would be a good, good idea to go ahead and get into your storm shelter right now as well. And then if you're watching anywhere in um, eastern, especially northeastern Madison County, that's where we are starting to see that rotation start to um, strengthen up a little bit as well. I'll pass it over to Dylan. Yeah, it's, it's not super impressive. Um, and again, if you pull up Max 1 here, I want to show you if we're dealing with any rotation at all, any tornado, it is rain-wrapped. Again, if we could see Max 1, I'll show you where this tornado warning is from your traditional radar that you're used to seeing. Um, if we're dealing with any tornado at all, it's going to be right there. And again, far southern Clark County. So I'm a bit surprised they haven't extended this warning, at least this severe thunderstorm warning, further north of this. Uh, but this right here, again, same system that's had the history of producing damaging wind gusts. It's kind of bowing out, which means it's going to be uh, producing get strong wind gusts. We are uh, continuing to track that radar for you. Even if you're not included within this, most of the I-75 corridor has heavy rainfall that we are seeing uh, uh, right now. Um, so don't let your guard down no matter where you're at. 
tre tre treacherous travel conditions across these areas north and south along I-75. Now the I-64 corridor here locally is included within this as well in terms of the heavy rain potential. But this tornado warning is through 915. No updates from Jackson or or Louisville's National Weather Service office because it's getting ready to outpace the warning itself. Again, this warning ends right there, Madison, uh, at the end of Madison County, this warning ends. So a bit surprised we're not getting some kind of update. We have the severe thunderstorm warning there, uh, but the tornado warning itself is uh, almost at the edge of where we're seeing of uh, this strong storm. So again, this is through 1015, Clark and extreme eastern Madison County. This is far southern Madison, uh, excuse me, Clark County. Winchester, you're just dealing with some very heavy rainfall right now. It is far southern portions of Clark County. And again, we got heavy rain on the eastern side of Madison County. We gave you a great view earlier, if you're watching, of this storm passing right through downtown Richmond, right at the campus of Eastern Kentucky University. We want to show you some velocities to pull up Max 2 quickly. Not seeing... Uh, the best signature there, are we, Jordan? Mm -mm. Uh, and not seeing that notch as much anymore. No, nope. uh, maybe down. a little bit of a notch towards the southern end. Again, uh, exactly what we've been talking about. I mean, it kind of can be frustrating if you're at home. You don't don't let it be frustrating because we continue to talk storms capable of producing a tornado, weakening, and then uh, also right there we just got that. Uh, so the tornado warning has expired. We just now have a severe thunderstorm warning. So no tornado warnings. We got the all clear from a tornado warning uh, perspective here uh, across the region. So if I can get some updates on what we're going to do here in terms of we're right at the end of where a good uh, day Kentucky will run. But if you want to show quickly on Max 1, Jordan, the radar, before we get things figured out here, show north to south along I-75 in terms of what we've got going on across the region. Um, and we'll show you that. So here's a look at Max HD radar uh, from a broader perspective. We only got one severe thunderstorm warning now for us and – just a line of storms, basically, right, Jordan? Yeah, exactly. And it's starting to, you know, maybe just um, pulse out a little bit here. Um, before that severe thunderstorm warning, just kind of showing maybe more of a strong wind potential down here from Rock Hassle up to Jackson and Madison County. So we'll see um, what the National Weather Service does for that, see if they issue any severe thunderstorm warnings. But at this moment, we um, are going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll stay here. Uh, we'll stay with you through 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just stay with you. So, Again, the storm still has the potential of dropping the tornado. We just wanted to, to stay with you while we can here to show you what's going on here um, across the region. I'm getting one update from the National Weather Service here, and then I'll get back to showing you uh, what's going on on radar. So issuing a severe uh, with tornado possible with the rotation that's going on in Nicholas County. So this is now on the northern edge of this. So this is now north of where we were previously looking at. Not a, great, not a great signature here with this. So it's a severe thunderstorm warning that we have for far northern Nicholas County, but it's a good sign of rotation on one of the latest radar scans, about 1,500 feet off the surface. So where you'd see that rotation, just east of Cynthiana there, was that what you would say, mm -hmm. Jordan, there with this cell? Oh, there's a tornado warning for Estill and Powell Estill County. Estill County, so back so, to the southern edge. So good thing we stay with you. One. And this is a real weird-looking tornado warning. Don't let it fool you. It's because we're in between National Weather Service office sites, basically while we're doing that. Uh, but don't let that fool you. So if you're in the severe thunderstorm warning, uh, just take that as you're in the middle of a tornado warning here. So this is Estill Powell County's through 1030 this morning. Um, really funky-looking warning. It's not a typical tornado warning, but that's kind of the setup we have here, folks. So, so you see a notch right there. They're trying to show you where it would be making almost a beeline for these same areas. We got it. Uh, but that is where we're watching. So this is where we could potentially see some rotation. It's moving eastward, very quick pace. Uh, but it is through 1030 uh, this morning there. Let's see if we can get some sort of update with what uh, the National Weather Service says. So. Estill Powell County's issued a tornado warning through 1030 this morning. At 955, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Harris Ferry or 11 miles northeast of Richmond, moving east at now 45 miles per hour. So that is that same part we're showing you. It doesn't look too impressive at all on velocities, mainly because it's in between two radar sites, so you wouldn't get a good look at the storm anyways, right, Jordan? 
Yeah, exactly right. And that's probably why they um, maybe went ahead and issued that tornado warning further off to the east just until they can get a better eye. Once this gets further off to the east, it'll begin to pick up National Weather Service in Jackson's um, radar site. So we should start to see some um, better pictures as far as radar pictures coming out of that. But nonetheless, it is um, still providing some rotation. So that's why they went ahead with that tornado warning for Estill, um, really the top you know, northern extreme, northern part of Estill County, and then into Powell County. We'll see exactly um, what the National Weather Service in Jackson does as this continues to push off to the east, again, as it comes into a better, clearer picture of their um, radar view. Just if you are in